Now, where am I? What's this? A long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Oh, that's not very helpful. I must say that Google Universe leaves a lot to be desired in terms of specifics. Uh, here's a peasant. I'll ask him. You there. Farm boy. You there. Me here. And now me here also. Can you help me? Well, it all depends on what you want. Do you have any booze? I am lost. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I don't know where I am. But we've just established you're here. Me too. Problem solved. Now, how about that booze? It's very dry out here. It's like an out-of-date sponge cake. Uh, look, here's a drop of that old Jank's spirit. But before I let you have any, please could you tell me which planet I'm on, or which sector? Well, imagine the bright center of the galaxy. We're about as far away from that as you can get, without any duty-free left. And I got stuck when my last lift accidentally went without me. Then maybe I can help you, if you help me. A little quid pro quo? I do most things for a quid, so sure, why not? I'm Fluke Jaywalker. I get around a bit. I am known as Mr. Cortex. And you will obey me. Oh. Okay. But I'm going to need that quid. My travels have locked onto the biorhythms of a prodigy, an alleged chosen one who could bring balance to the Witchverse. Apparently, something has happened to knock it out of whack, as my sub Ethan News reports. That's an odd wording for a news broadcaster to use. I can only get CNN on my outdated machine. Crude not news. That's the one. So how will you know if you found the chosen one? Apparently... The Chosen One, with capital letters, if you please, is Ginger. Interesting. Really? How so? Well, I'm Ginger. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Lustrous. Ginger perm is what I have. That's not Ginger. That's nicotine bronze. My mother uses the same hair dye. It's not hair dye. This is my natural colour. See, check out my roots. Dear gods of witchcraft, pull your trousers up. But anyway, that's still not ginger. Would a ginger, by any other name, smell just as... ginger? It's close enough. I don't think prophecies about chosen ones settle for close enough. Well, what other clues do you have? There's got to be more than a recessive gene or bizarre genetic anomalies. That would be weird. Let me see, let me see, uh, ginger, ginger. Oh, yeah. Ginger on a desert planet, six toes and pie-eyed. Perfect. Here we are, on a desert planet. It is a bit odd for a desert planet. It's like an out-of-date sponge cake. That's because it is. Chew a piece of scenery. I usually do. This is dried-out sponge cake. Now, add a bit of that old jank spirit. Do you have any coffee? Excellent. Thanks. It'll be cold by now. The planet Thermos isn't quite what it was. Now try it again. Tell me what you think. Go on. Go on, try it. Incredible. That's a passable tiramisu. Exactly. It's a dessert planet. That's ridiculous. A planet entirely based upon a pun? You couldn't make it up, could you? I can see why you were thirsty. And I have six toes. Really? I can tell if you are lying, you know. Go on, then. Test me. OK. I am Mr. Cortex, and you will obey me. Obey me. Tell me truthfully, do you have six toes? I have six toes. And another four. I find this hard to believe, but you may just be the chosen one. But your eyes the same color. Not, not pied. David Bowie, you are not. But does not pie-eyed have another meaning? Let me look it up in my galactic thesaurus. And what does it also mean? <sighs> it means drunk. And that's the last of the old jank spirit. Any chance of a lift off this planet, then? 
I am the chosen one. I hate prophecies. Excellent. Okay, fine, fine. But you're not to touch anything. Wake me up when we get to Millyways. I'm starving. Doctor Witch featured C.J. Hooper as Mr. Cortex, Elliot Stewart as Fluke J. Walker, and was written by C.J. Hooper and is an Invisible Commission's production.